Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Adobe Live. Uh, this is your Monday motivation. Uh, can't think of another word beginning with M. Your your wake up call to the week to start some creativity. Uh, today, I'm joined by uh, Rathio Ahio. Uh, hey. I'm going to try my best at pronunciation <laughs> on that. Um, that was perfect, welcome. Joe. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm not the best at rolling my R's, um, but. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> you did great. <laughs> always, always excited to try new languages. Uh, whether I butcher it or not, I'll keep on practicing. Um, but anyway, welcome everyone uh, Thank to Adobe you very Live. Much. And uh, we have some people in the chat as well. So let's just jump straight into some housekeeping. If you want to join in with the chat, come and join us on behance.net forward slash live. And uh, we've got plenty of people uh, with some exciting starts to the week. Uh, as you may have known, we had Adobe Max last week, and we are back now to some regular Adobe Lives. I'm still buzzing off of last week, um, hanging out with everyone in Munich. That was a lot of fun. Um, so good morning, good afternoon to Oliver, Kirsty, uh, Sandrine, and I'm in the chat as well, Linda, uh, Sarah, Tim is there as well. Um, oh, so many people. Who... Hi, everyone. Yeah. For those of you Thank who are wondering. Thank you for joining us. Super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, Tim is just as soft and soulful in person as he is on the live stream. Um, absolute gent. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, Rothio, welcome. Uh, I know you're very excited to share some of your work. I'm excited to see it. Um, perhaps you could give a bit of an introduction on who you are and your work and what you're sure. about. Sure. All the good stuff. <laughs> Sure. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining. I'm super happy to be here. Hello, everyone. Hola a todos. Uh, my name is Rocio. I'm Spanish, uh, but I'm living in Switzerland since seven years now. So it's been it's been a while. <laughs> I live in Lausanne and, um, and I work as an illustrator uh, between Alicante and Switzerland. So that's great to be a that's great to be a, a freelancer. So you can you can be a, a bit everywhere. So um, let me show you a bit what I do. Um, here's my website, uh, my studio, where I mostly do um, editorial illustration. Oops, sorry with this editorial illustration and commercial. Uh, I love color. I love geometry. Well, I have to say that I study architecture. Uh, so my background is an architect. So I think you can see that in my work because yeah. I've been using when I just started illustrating, I switched from uh, from um, ah, 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 this program, <laughs> ah, my mind, this program that you, that you use as an architect to draw um, AutoCAD, sorry. AutoCAD, yep. So I passed from AutoCAD to Illustrator. So, so yeah, I think you can really see that in how I use geometry and and how all the shapes are perfectly and and vector. I love vector. Uh, so, so yeah, I really like it. Um, work with that. So I love colors, bold images. I have the pleasure to work with uh, New York Times, with McDonald's, with um, with. Uh, yeah, this is New York Times Kids, uh, LA Times as well. Uh, sometimes I work with illustrate with animators as well. I don't do animation myself, but I love to collaborate with other with other people. So that's great. Uh, I think my work is really easy to animate, and the style it fits very well animation. So mm -hmm. so yeah. So here is uh, all my projects. Uh, one one thing to mention is that. I don't update my website as um, as much as I would like to. So on Instagram, I think this is a, a common scenario <laughs> yeah. amongst many creatives. Uh, totally. Take that as a sign of success. It's yeah, well, because okay. you're so busy. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> uh, I will take it like that. So yeah. So if you want to be updated, uh, I'm on Instagram most of the time. Here I was me yesterday announcing that today I was gonna be in Adobe Live. So. In Instagram, you are not going to miss anything that is happening. And most of the projects that they are on Instagram now, they are not on my website yet. So sorry for that. They will come at the end of the year. And then a part of the studio, when I work mostly with uh, clients in editorial commercial, I say, I also have uh, a shop uh, because I really wanted, I, I was doing like a lot of personal projects and I really wanted to do something with them. Uh, so my shop is kind of my playground. Where I can uh, where I can create like prints or I have a, a calendar now with recipes. Uh, I have wallpapers as well. I have um, 
um, ebooks for 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 people that loves food. Uh, yeah, I didn't mention it, but actually you can see that also on my on my studio. Most of my clients are in the food industry. That because was I love I was, food. <laughs> I was going to say you uh, you went through all the things that are about your work except for the one thing that I yeah, noticed immediately. Sorry, I didn't which is mention food. it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So so this mix between food and my personal projects from that mix, I think like that the the shop uh, the shop uh, uh, was created like uh, last year. So so yeah, you can find me here. And I think that's all. I don't know if you have any questions so far, more like personal question about my work or something like that. If not, we can go directly to... I, to I have a, an immediate question, actually. Okay, uh, so yeah. The, the thing that, that strikes me with your work is it's very consistent in the way that it looks, mm -hmm. which I think is great. Um, and one of the factors I think that, that strikes the consistency is the color choice, because yeah. we're seeing the same sort of swatches and everything. And that makes me think, you know, you, you obviously have your own sort of brand guidelines as such. When you work with other brands, do you struggle to get them on board with your colors? Or do you totally. say, you've hired me for my colors? Totally. I mean, it's it's always a conversation you have to, you, you need to have with the client. Uh, I always mention that my style and my voice is super strong. So first of all, they need to be, my values and the values of the client, they need to be aligned since the mm -hmm. beginning, because if not, the style is not gonna match and then Sorry with the micro. Let me know if if you can hear me okay. Um, and then, um, of course, they when you work in, not in editorial, but mostly in commercial illustration, uh, they already have a brand book. They already have mm -hmm. a brand style for their brand. So so they always have a color palette. So sometimes, uh, for example, this one. Okay, what is it now? It's also animated. This one. Uh, was for for Monosus. It's a it's a it's a um, design studio in Japan, and they already had a color palette. Uh, they were like few colors, so I always try to propose to use mines as a complementation of their color palette. So, I mean, I cannot I cannot uh, I cannot do my colors hundred percent all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but I always try to propose uh, to do kind of a mix. Uh, because if not, I mean, I don't feel really comfortable working with dark colors or pastels or, well, sometimes I use pastels like in here, uh, but I combine them with other bold colors to, to have something like, a, to have like kind of a, a, a brightness there. Mm. So, so yeah, it's, it's always pass with a conversation with the client and try yeah. to find a common point, but it's true I'm, that uh, sometimes. I'm just imagining, <laughs> I'm imagining turning up to a client brief. <laughs> And uh, you've got your your pencil case with coloring crayons, and they've got their pencil case with yeah. coloring crayons. You say, "Can I use my colors?" I <laughs> say, "But we already have these colors." I'm like, but my colors are better. <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my work better if I use my colors. I'm gonna be more happy. I, the process yep. is gonna be nicer for me. But otherwise, when normally when a client contacts you, they already know your work. They already yeah. know your style. So they normally go because they like what you do. Yeah. So sometimes the color palette could be slightly different, but not that not that far from what I yeah. do. Well, I find in my experience and from talking with plenty of other designers, when you have a set style like this, and when you start to approach clients or clients approach you, what generally happens is you get the bigger clients because they know that they're partnering with you. And that in itself is worth something that they can say, you know, look who we've worked with. And so if you're so strong in your style, then that's going to come through. Whereas mm. on a lot of the the lower paying jobs, unfortunately, they usually want a lot more. And that usually comes down to, you know, taking over that creative control, which is what you've been hired for. Yeah, um, yeah. So I think it, it works success um, in all fields of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, to, I'm totally agree with that. Yes, it's, um, well, it's, it's, it's your work. So you just need to be yourself and truth with your work and, and find your, your identity your personality and your identity in no i mean your work has to project your identity and personality mm. so so i think it's it's a key of success as an illustrator or creative or in every creative field uh if you accomplish to project that and to project the everything that makes you unique with your work 
Yeah. Uh, I think uh, people is going to come to you because what you are going to be doing is going to be like, no one is going to be doing the same thing as you do if you find yeah. that point. So, so yeah. Sandrine's actually just made they a great point your in door. the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Sandrine's mentioned in the chat, uh, I suspect that if some clients choose someone over someone else, it's because they want to adopt what makes the illustrator's uniqueness and ingest a bit of it. So I think that's definitely true. They're, they're taking your style and almost attributing it to themselves to say, hey, look, you're fun and colorful. Aren't we fun and colorful? Yeah, you know, yeah, it's, totally. Um, yeah, yeah, totally. We, we share joy, we are cheerful, we love uh, to have fun. And, and, and yeah, so yeah, I, I, I think I have never been approached to a client that, I, that they didn't share those values. And if I've yeah. been approached of that, yeah, I remember once, well, actually it was this year, it was high tech company from, uh, they were developing some, uh, some uh, meds. So it was like super technical and super, I mean, they, they were looking for some, some illustration, like super technical illustrations and something that talks about medicine. And, uh, and I, I think I told them like, uh, I don't know how I told them, but I told them like, I don't think I'm, my, my work is going to fit with what you are looking for. And, uh, and yeah, and we didn't work together at the end uh, because they, we were not aligned. So I think that if you know that, you are also going to work with the clients and projects that they are going to make you shine and bright and, and, and yeah, so keep Definitely. that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to say yes to everyone. <laughs> Definitely. All right. So, um, so we've, we've got a good overview of your work. Should we jump into some sure. uh, illustration and your work? Yeah. Me? Yeah. So let's go. Okay. Now I need to move my face and your face from, from the middle <laughs> of, <laughs> I'm going to put, yeah, I think I'm going to put us here. Um, okay, so today what I wanted to create with you was a uh, design a wallpaper. Uh, if you know my work, if you follow my work, you've seen that I once a month or mm, anytime I feel like I share some uh, free wallpapers on my Instagram account, always related with food, always related with uh, seasons. Um, so now we are in autumn. So I wanted to create something fun like that uh, in order to give it to you as a present after the call. So after the stream, so you can put it on your on your phones and have a bit of a spark of joy when you see it or a smile yeah. when you see Lovely. it every morning with the alarm sounds you will see ah no but it's fun i mean it's it's okay we i have colors in my phone so <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so the goal today is to illustrate this wallpaper okay so i'm gonna start by sharing with you how i normally work when i get a brief when i get uh, for example in editorial illustration that you get like a like a text or a concept to illustrate i always start by hand I think it's like the more, I don't know about you, but for me, it feels like the more natural way to, to start drawing because you you are not focused about the result. You are just focused about a composition, which element you want to have. So I always start with uh, by hand. Actually, I have this, I love this, my my markers, you say in English, mm -hmm. my rotuladores, yep. Faber-Castell, I love them. Uh, and, and it's a collection of many, many colors. So. Uh, I every time I use a different marker to to do it by hand and and then I also keep these uh, these uh, sketches in notebooks because yeah you know for the future me I think I'm gonna be happy to go through them. So oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I actually I love when people do that because so many just you know they do their quick sketch and throw it away. But as a viewer, there's so much value in seeing where things started. And as a creator, you also see how much you've improved and progressed. And you may find that, you know, certain chapters of your life, you do these sketches a little bit too accurate, a bit too neat, and then you loosen up and then your work gets better because of it. Um, totally, totally. Yeah. And uh, well, and actually, can I take something from the... <laughs> yeah, sure. Give me a second. I've, uh, I've actually just noticed that someone's plugged in a, a vacuum. Uh, so I hope that's not coming through on the stream. It's quite loud in my room. <laughs> Ooh, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. No uh, so actually, what I was going to show you is like, I did a few sketches. 
So it's not just one. I did a few. So I have also started with the, can you see properly there? I yeah. think so, right? So I have also started with one, like it's like more chaotic or more, I don't know what is this. And I normally do like a five. In this one, there was an umbrella. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I do a few like this. Uh, like in this case, I have like six until I'm happy. It's like it's like mm, half an hour of playing and, and defining defining your 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 sketch. So when I have it ready, I pass to the iPad. Uh, uh -huh. I've been not always working with iPad uh, because at the beginning I was working more um, just with the track pack, and I was not re. I was not redoing the design um, digitally. I was just starting from scratch, a new one on on the computer. Yeah. But uh, but yeah. But recently, uh, I think my my style is changing like a like a bit. Is is taking like a new path. Uh, so if you can see here, I'm not using perfect circles. But if we do, if we go here, for example, this one uh, or this one, my my style was much more geometric. And uh, and everything was like uh, illustrator design. It was like vector 100%. Look at these hands. Um, mm. And now it's true that I'm having fun by changing a little bit. Uh, it's been a while. I'm I'm I've been drawing like that. So these hands are already more like natural and more. They have like more flow. Let's say. Mm -hmm. um, so it's something that I'm that I'm working on it now and uh, using Illustrator for the iPad where you have the vectors already and then I mean you can you can draw with your you can draw with your hand and then have the vector lines I think that's uh, that, that's great I mean for me it has been uh, great to discover that and and add this new life into my into my work so as I was Did saying you find was that a, a conscious decision of making it sort of less natural shapes or did it happen accidentally it was more or less accidentally uh, okay. Yeah, it was not intentional. It was accidentally because when I get the iPad, I was using Procreate because Illustrator for the iPad was not there. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a sketch, I think. There was uh, another yep. app uh, or something like that. But I was not able to have my lines, my hand lines in vector after using that, that app. So I think it was last year when, when Illustrator for iPad came out. I'm not sure. It's quite recently, uh... I think. I or maybe I have discovered it last year. I don't know. Yeah, 2019, I think I remember it being announced okay. at Max. But then okay. I, I think that was a uh, a beta. And then I think it officially came out 2020, possibly. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. It's been a couple of years, yeah, in the news. Yeah. So anyway, for me, when I when I started that and I was I was sending the illustration, the illustrator file directly to the computer, was like, wow, a mind blown. It was like, oh my God, now it's perfect because I can, yeah. sometimes, we are going to see it now, sometimes I reuse the same shapes I have done by hand. Other times I just do a circle and then I love this one because I can ship, 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 slightly do it like more, mm -hmm. more hand handy. Uh, I try to do it by hand, but if sometimes I don't like the shape, uh, the, how do you call this one? The smoothie, the smooth, <laughs> the smooth uh, yeah. tool. Um, it's one of my my favorite to to, mm -hmm. to accomplish that uh, hand drawing touch. So I where, wish that where... tool existed in in real life. You know, you could draw on paper <laughs> for everything, no? Yeah. <laughs> for cooking, for <laughs> yeah. For cooking, for tidying <laughs> up the... the apartment, it's like yeah. just oop, a video like that. You know when you do the bed. <laughs> mm -hmm. So can I? Uh, so yeah, it's uh, I love that one. Uh, and I don't know where I was. I was saying like yeah, I do this by hand, and then I come to the I come to Illustrator, I come to the to the big screen, and I start working here. So what okay. I normally do, it's uh, I do a copy of it um sometimes i create another oh, this one we are gonna sometimes i create another lawyer to um, to work on it but i mean there are not so many elements so so i think uh, we can go with this uh yeah. so yeah let's start working okay. i'm gonna put the background and uh, i'm gonna block a, the background question 
Yeah. Uh, question again. Uh, I need. Uh, from <laughs> I, I use asking, a lot of. I. I <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, do you always work on loose sheets of paper, or do you have? Uh, I'm assuming a sketchbook of some sort. So sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you? I, I didn't get that. Uh, when you work on pen, do you always work yeah. on loose sheets of paper, as in like individual sheets? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I always do it like this. Uh, then, I don't know. Then do you I don't compile know. Compile it into a book, or no? I normally export them separately because okay. from here, I'm only gonna export the number four. Okay. So, cool. I answered your question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did I? Okay. <laughs> and uh, okay. Okay. And then this we've coming. So this was drawn uh, from iPad, and now we're straight into Illustrator. And now we um, are on a yeah. I always the final design always always it's always done on on, uh, on, on the biggest screen with Illustrator desktop. Um, yeah, I think it's great. Uh, it, it's yeah, I never I have never presented something from the iPad. The sketches when I present the sketches to the client, I use this. Uh, but the finals are always made in um, like this one are always made in the with the computer. And mm -hmm. yeah, just to let you know, I'm using a tablet. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, um, I don't always use it, but uh, yeah, it's depend of the project. But with this yeah. one, I felt like so. Let's start. And for example, uh, these lines, I can, I can. Ah, uh, one thing I love it, uh, because I have it on the on the iPad and also in here. You were talking about colors, so here I have <laughs> my color library. Um, so this is, I mean. Well, this is the uh, 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 recently, uh, well, not recently, like a year ago that I have created this library, but I have a Fruity few... Fruity and veggie. Love it. Fruity and veggie. <laughs> and uh, this is the brand <laughs> when I started with, I mean, the colors are slightly different now. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is when I started and this one, I did it for the produce of the shop and all the personal projects. So that's what is the one I'm always using. When I start a project, I already have them here, and nice. uh, and yeah. So do you ever so, do you ever add an extra color? You think you know time has come. We need a uh, I don't know what's missing from here. Um, if the client asks for it, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna uh, adopt a color. <laughs> sometimes, uh, if not, sometimes it's uh, if for example. Uh, this is, um, for example, in this one. Uh, no, no, I don't add new because I think I have cute. I have a few. I have quite a lot of colors already here. Yeah. I mean, actually, yeah. This is Rocio Hio brand when I started, and this is where I'm now. So I have add colors since yeah. four okay. or five years ago. Yeah, I have add colors, and now I think with all of this, I'm working well. Sometimes. But sometimes if I need to slightly change it because of the, um, I don't know, because of the, 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 the combination of colors doesn't match or the contrast between colors doesn't work really well for the color background, things like that, I will, I will add another ones. But, but yeah, uh, I have, yeah, no, I'm happy with that, with this now. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, don't touch the colors. <laughs> <laughs> You can see you're very, very protective of the colors. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> totally. So as I was saying, uh, for example, this was made by hand. So I changed this a little bit. Uh, one thing you are going to see as well is that, um, let me show you here, that from here to here, the composition is a bit different. Uh, this uh, this uh, uh, pumpkin is much bigger and uh, the small, how do you say this? Uh, a worm, I guess. Worm, yeah. yeah. Um, gusano, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a different position. So this is also something I do uh, when I do the sketch uh, and then I'm working on the real one. Uh, if I think that some changes are going to, yeah, I'm going to make the composition better or whatever, I'm not, I don't restrict myself to the first yeah. sketch. So for example, here we are starting from this one. So let's see where we go. Yeah, yeah. We're, we are going to end, end up, up very at the end. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> so um, I lines, uh, for example, I normally use lines at the color background. So now the background is my cream here. I'm going to put this 
I don't always do it, but I think for today, I'm going to fix this in here. So let's put the cream from the lines. Mm -hmm. And for example, this one by hand, maybe it was, uh, maybe it was like too, too, how do you say, too crazy, too, too free. So I'm just copy pasting the okay. line and I'm going to redo it. Okay, I'm just turning with, I use a lot, a lot of, uh, how do you say, a lot of um, shortcuts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if there is something that I've done and you don't know what it is, ask, because I don't know if you can, you don't see my shortcuts there, no? No. I need to tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's fine. Any that, um, you know, that maybe look a little bit advanced uh, that I happen to catch, I'll, um, Perfect. I'll try and... Perfect. No, well. I, mean, I mean, I think my use of Illustrator is quite uh, standard. I don't, my illustration is super simple. I don't use so many uh, graphics or or textures or things like super crazy. So I think it's going to be easy to follow. And what I'm yeah. doing here is like, I did it, I did it like, a, I did it, I did like a perfect uh, asterisco. And now I'm just playing like a bit to not to have it like perfectly everything aligned. Just mm -hmm. to again give that touch of uh, of yeah, yeah. of um, and kind of kind of similar. I think there's a term for this in music production, which is called humanization. Uh, yeah? I, I didn't know like that. If you're creating, say, like a digital beat, you know, or or you're adding in drum samples, for example. Yeah. There are very few drummers in the world who could be a hundred percent perfect, and so if okay. you made it in electronic music, a hundred percent perfect sounds a little too clinical at times so you humanize it and you just like run it that's off just it. a few frames or so yeah that's it it's a bit like a, let's um let's uh make up a little bit uh the 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 thing because for me it's not i don't feel like comfortable 100 percent like mm -hmm. uh doing 100 percent hand uh, hand uh, drawing yeah. um but i like the between now I it's think, like a... I think what's funny though is um some people they'll maybe they'll draw things and they they won't be accurate and they say oh I, I like not being accurate and you know that's the human element to it whereas you've started but I'm an artist. precise <laughs> and perfect and you've then gone backwards so it's yeah. it's not like a you're not compensating for not having the skill set um no, because you no, do no 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 you're it's... then adding the emotion to it I yeah. think I think it's also because I get that bit bored of doing the same thing over and over um, because you know for example I'm, I'm uh, as I mentioned I'm working a lot with the with the um, I'm working a lot with the industry uh, sector so that means that I have to draw a lot of apples and okay. if my apple is perfect I, I just need to copy paste sometime so I get a bit bored because I, I was doing so many copy paste like the, I already have the apple I'm just gonna change the color and I'm so it was it, I was not having fun I mean mm -hmm. I think for me it was challenging drawing the apple the first time but then it's not challenging anymore if you are doing it like perfectly yeah because you already know the process you already know how you're gonna do it so it's just copy pasting so by changing it a little bit and every time doing it playing with with your hand drawing uh yeah you had the touch the, the human touch uh everything is more like uh playful and uh and it, it's more alive i will say mm -hmm. and uh yeah, yeah. Let, let's let's say alive so well <laughs> okay uh I think we are okay on time. Ooh, oh my God, half an hour <laughs> to mention <laughs> this before. <laughs> I'm super slow now. Uh, okay, let's do the, the pumpkin. So here, um, sometimes I start with a perfect uh, shape. Oop, no. And, uh, and let's see how, 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 because uh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Well, okay, let's just start like this. So I normally let's just start with the perfect and then and then let's see what we do. Because I don't really like this shape. Uh, oh, yes. I don't know. Sometimes it's just playing and see. Ah, oh, 
okay. Yeah, sometimes you can fix things. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. No, as we say, this tool, it's great. Because I don't, I don't want to either to spend like a lot of time doing the sketches because I know that then I'm going to spend a lot of time again changing them in the computer. Mm. Yeah. So, so this I is, don't try uh... to have the perfect shape when I do it by hand. In uh, yeah. when I do it by hand in the iPad, this like I just want to have the elements and then I play here because otherwise the process is too long. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm I'm not actually familiar with um, Illustrator on the iPad. Is okay. this was this originally with the pen tool or is there like a yeah. freeform it's, pen? Yeah, it's the pen. It's the pen tool. It's like a, it's like this one. I have it yeah. here. Sorry, where is it? No, I have it here. It's the pencil tool. It's like this ah, one. Pencil. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is this one that I use on okay. the iPad, and uh, and uh, and, then that and yeah, creates the vectors so, yeah. immediately. Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. And what I normally do here, I think I just gonna copy the shape. I'm gonna make it a smaller, no. make it a smaller, and yeah, let's see if it's work as we like. And yeah, this one is gonna come on the top. Because I'm gonna redo the lines just to just to 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 have the 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 perspective. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna just copy paste it in the same place. I'm gonna do the line. I don't know in which color. Yeah, I did the purple here. Yeah, I prefer the purple. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and yeah, I I just I just stay with the lines. This is okay. going out. So you're just cutting the path. Yeah. I'm just cutting, yeah. and then what I do, yeah, I like this. I know I'm gonna make it bigger already because I I I, I did it here. I'm I I how do you say I trick? No, I did trampas. I did tr trampas. <laughs> it's not trampas, but as I already did it, I know at the end I'm gonna make it bigger. Um, mm -hmm. but let let keep it like this. Uh, and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um uh, combine all the shapes together. So okay. I don't have a lot of elements. I only have the color and the lines. Yep. And here we had, I haven't forgot you. Here we have this little detail. We're going to put them in purple as well. And, and yeah, rework them a bit. I don't really like this one. It's also um, a matter of... Uh, yeah, feeling with your with your drawing, because I'm I'm super perfectionist. I think mm -hmm. because of architecture and my background, and and that's why I I I, I love vector. And at the beginning, I was only but only using like perfect graphical uh, shapes. Yeah. Uh, it was like technical drawing for me, like uh, going back to school and and studying technical drawing, but with uh, with uh, with illustrator mm. and i don't know what i was saying this um so yeah so that's why now even if it's by hand um uh, just thinking, i don't go i don't go that find a, <laughs> hard, to, hard to find an architect that wouldn't be a perfectionist i think they yeah a lot of unsafe yeah. buildings <laughs> totally totally yeah but for example give me an example of how i was doing this before because this one is a bit I, I don't really like it, so I will have done it like this. So I will do a, a perfect circle. Okay. A second one here, bigger. Oop, I have, okay. Sometimes I use this. I go to preferences and I'm gonna, what is it, what is it? A scale, a stroke, and effects. I don't, I don't always use it, but I had it here because I don't know, some of the last project. But I don't normally use it because all the strokes are always uh, the same, um, the mm. same uh, weight. So this one, it's gonna be smaller, more or less. This one comes here. Okay, okay. So now I just do two lines here and here. And uh, you, who are you? You. <laughs> Okay, and now let's do an intersection. I always love how and... people talk to their artwork. <laughs> Sorry? I always love when uh... people talk to their artwork. 
<laughs> totally. Who are you? What, what <laughs> yeah, are you doing here? Who are, yeah, totally. So <laughs> let's put in color and let's put it back. And, uh, and yeah, so I was always working like this. Mm -hmm. uh, always, always, always. So sometimes I also felt like um, it was... Uh, I also felt that it was like super... Um, yeah, I was missing some kind of uh, of uh, soul in my drawing sometimes. I don't know. I don't know what you think about it, or, or I would love to 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 know more. Yeah, to 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 know what people think <laughs> mm. about well, this, think... or, or if someone has had like a similar path, or yeah, that's true actually. Um, because yeah, like we were saying earlier, sometimes people go down a more perfectionist mm. route. Like the later they go and others, you know, maybe go the opposite way. Um, I can I'm say from, keep from speaking to you not, in... We don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> from, uh, from speaking to you in person and seeing your work, um, the two definitely combine. Your personality is, is through and through in your work. Um, so, yeah, I think that yeah. you've done a good job Thank with you. that. Thank <laughs> you. That's a great... That, I think that was my, my, my main goal to... To find something that represents myself and to feel uh, to feel identify with uh, with what I do. Mm -hmm. So so yeah. For example, here again, I'm doing it like uh, like um, I'm doing it perf perfectly uh, uh, geometrical, but mm -hmm. then I'm gonna play a bit around with it. So yeah. This we can make this smaller and use it like it is more or less. No. So you have um, your set sort of color swatches. Do you have mm -hmm. set line thickness that you use? I guess it, it depends yeah. on the on the yeah. It depends dimensions. on the format, but for example, now here. Okay, because ah, uh, because I did it with the with the iPad, but I will normally I will always put like a like um, a round number. Always. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, for example, we can select similar here, uh, select the same uh, stroke. No, because it was this one, the one I mm -hmm. was using. So select same stroke weight. So I have all of them selected now and I'm going to put a three. Yeah, that is a killer tip, by the way. Uh, I love it. Who are unaware of that? It's similar um, to like the magic wand tool, where you can choose <laughs> uh, something and just say, "Find everything else using this yeah. color swatch." Yeah, um, I I use it a so lot useful. because I have my color palette. So sometimes with color, you need just to change some colors or everything, and I use it a lot. I, I really like it. It's mm -hmm. um, it's great to to yeah to use it. Can um, potentially get you into trouble though if you've maybe done one change somewhere and then you go and adjust it everywhere yeah because you don't know where the where the not i mean this is quite simple we don't have so many lawyers and everything but if you have mm -hmm. like a huge illustration with a lot of elements uh it can get tricky yeah so let's play a bit with this well i think we're gonna leave it we don't i don't have the time to be to be that perfectionist with the time we have today <laughs> sorry um and yeah I, I started changing sizes the other day because i mean as an architect uh one thing i'm i'm always super aware i i don't think we will have the time to do it now uh but i'm gonna let you know and um is about the scale so when i did the sketch i was happy with the sketch but mm -hmm. of course uh papkin it's much bigger than a worm and yep. uh, or a, <laughs> so that's why I started <laughs> changing it. it was like oh my god this is not realistic Rocio this cannot be like this uh so you can do the pumpkin bigger and you have to do the the three leaves smaller so that's why I started playing with the scale um so yeah it, it sometimes are things that I don't know it's just uh, yourself how you are how you work and, and and it's like yeah if if you feel more comfortable doing it like that just doing it yeah. and uh, and that's how how you will always put your touch into your into your illustrations 
Um, I was trying to make them like light, slightly different, both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny to mention pumpkin size because with it being pumpkin season and we're well, actually just root vegetable season in general, there's yeah. there are always competitions on growing the biggest ones. That's true. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, I think it was last week maybe, there was I think a, a record broken for the world's biggest pumpkin and it was giant. It oh, wow. smashed but how previous big? records. I want to say it was the size of a truck. It was... What? A, I mean, a truck, a camion. Yeah. Like okay. A, like a big, big <laughs> oh, truck. Oh, wow. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. It just, uh, it makes me think of um, like Roald Dahl's James and the Giant Peach, you know, something that you could climb into. Yeah, and... totally. Totally. Travel to New York. <laughs> totally. Uh, for the worm, what I, for, for this kind of shapes, uh, I, I, um, I normally uh, take a line I like from the original drawing, let's say this one, and I play with the stroke. So okay. like this, I get the perfect, uh, the perfect and parallel shape. Then again, if I if it's too too rigid, I will change it a little bit, but I always start with the stroke. And here, let's go thick. And I'm gonna round the corners. Uh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there is another way to do it, but I've been always doing it like this. So no, that's my, <laughs> I'm sharing <Yeah>. my tricks. <laughs> and mm -hmm. now I, I do the stroke line. How do you call that? I, because I do it with a uh, control three, but I think it's, uh, it's uh, path, 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 and then outline stroke. Voila, this one. Yeah. Um, Sometimes it's funny because you have your tricks with the with the keyboard, and uh, mm -hmm. you don't know how to go back. It's like uh, I yeah. don't know I don't know where to find it anymore. <laughs> Sometimes... Outline stroke is a <laughs> is an interesting one actually because I use it frequently when I'm in Illustrator, but naturally it doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, so you have to create your own for it. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. I have created it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a uh... Command Option S on mine, which is another shortcut that it overrides. Um, Totally. Yeah. And these lines, oop, I'm just going to do them by hand because, yeah, the shape is a bit different. So let's redo them. Yeah. Uh, Oliver has mentioned that pumpkin was 1.16 yeah. kilos. Uh, <gasps> sorry, tons, I guess. Ah, Metric ah, tons, ah, ah okay. Tons, 1, but tons. I don't know. I don't know the correspondence between tones and uh, uh, how, 1, how big is. One thousand one hundred and sixty-one. <laughs> oh that wow! Is, oh, it's huge. That is over the baggage allowance for most um, airlines. Oh no! It's too much. <laughs> one thousand. That is. It's huge. I I can't even comprehend what a thousand kilos is. Um, no, no, I cannot picture it. <laughs> Here I'm gonna. Yeah. The, I like the the lines that I did by hand directly. So let's keep them. Um, well, this one, I won't keep it like this. Let's move a bit. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't keep all the lines from the, from the, um, from the iPad version. Um, but yeah, I, I, I. I keep some, I play. So. Yeah. And you're mentioning, well, I think gonna... you were saying it before we went live actually, that your previous style used a lot of outline strokes and then. Yeah, you as well. It. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as well. I mean, we can see it here on my website if we go to the bottom, bottom, bottom. Everything is outside line, everything mm -hmm. has the black lines. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's also natural. No, I've been doing. This illustration, I think, is for four years ago. So, so yeah, you get bored. I mean, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. talking about myself. I don't know the others. I would love, I would love to to see their comments. But if you do the same thing all the time, uh, yeah, at the end you master it. So it's like, a, no, I mean, I I know I can do a perfect pure shape with circles, tangents, and everything on a on a on a, on a on Illustrator, so what can I do that is different and and 
and I still being a pair, but it's I still being myself as well without mm -hmm. losing your creative voice and uh and it's different. So I mean that point now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. I mean it's it's a natural progression. It's it's still recognizably yeah. your style. Yeah. It's um, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you can you can recognize it uh, directly. So here I'm I'm just smoothing this line, but then I I I remove this one because I want to have it like uh, perfectly straight. So yeah, this one is yellow, and here this is also a pumpkin like a butter. How do you call that one? Uh, butter. Squash. Yeah, butter squash. Yeah. Actually, I don't think we have a name for this one in in Spain. We don't have that I many varieties. Love <laughs> squash. Um, <laughs> it's the it's season now, so definitely. yeah. So oh, for example, so good. this one, we are gonna do them like perfectly. This is like too much. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not that free. Uh, I'm still uh, I'm still um, uh, yeah, a bit rigid sometimes. So for do this shape with the leaves and everything, I always part from the intersection with two circles uh, here. And uh, now we're just going to rotate them. Uh, we are just going to rotate them and do a copy. So, uh, well, uh, transform, rotate, uh, the angle. I always play because I never know. <laughs> yeah. Oop, sorry. This was my 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 tablet. Wacom tablet. Uh rotate. Uh let's see with 30. No, it's too much. Uh 25. Oh, but 25 is not uh 22. <laughs> 22.5. Uh okay, but we go to the negative side. Ah. I say 22.5. Okay, so let's do a copy. Uh, they're interacting. They're intersecting. Uh, mm -hmm. But that happens when I did these ones by chance, and I like it. So mm -hmm. maybe it's too tight. Okay, let's <laughs> try. Um, let's try 33. Minus 33. I'm touching my, my tablet, so that's why the numbers... Okay. Are going yeah. crazy. Ah, oh, but I didn't do the copy. Sorry. <laughs> Let's do again. <laughs> this is so relatable, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's like you do it like okay, no, minus. <laughs> yeah. But we say 33 or, or I say 30. Okay, let's leave it let's 30, leave it like this. Because otherwise okay. I we are not gonna advance. Yeah. yeah. Ah, and here it's almost perfect. Not perfect, but almost. Yeah. So now I remove this. These are purple. Uh, for um, anyone who just missed that, by the way, that's Command D to re repeat. Ah, uh, yeah, action. sorry, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a very powerful. I shortcut. love that one as well. Yeah. And actually, sometimes I'm working in another programs, and I do that like uh, like uh, in Excel, you know, or mm -hmm. in, in, oh, yeah. in Google Drive, or in a different, in in completely different program, and yeah. I do that like um. Oh, that's like, so yeah, true. The or, amount... or yeah. It's like the a amount of times I'm I'm doc uh, typing something, you know, in word processor somewhere, and I've just got V's everywhere because I'm trying to go back to the selection tool. Yeah. <laughs> like it's my natural instinct to just press V. Yeah, Always. yeah, yeah. Ha have ever happened to you to have a, a sketch in paper or or, or or a picture in paper and do this with the with the fingers? I've never that done that. I've seen I've seen someone do it next to me on a plane. To me. And, I... and it's like <laughs> Rocio, uh, what what I mean what was that um so yeah so i uh, think this one uh, sandrine is, is asking uh ah, okay. if you've tried to I repeat saw, i saw it was it was our, well we still have 10 minutes um, yeah, sorry go ahead the repeat and radio option uh just wondering if you've tried that um okay yeah let creating. me know so, how do we um, do it uh i think it's that's with, in the um, object menu or is it in is it the repeat tool but it's this one that you can't repeat. Tool, you can't repeat uh, uh, x number of elements around a circle. Mm -hmm. Is it one? It's kind of you have the grid and the radius. Uh, 
I'm going to assume on that because I'm I'm not. I think it's this one, right? Myself. Ah, yes, that looks good. Can we have next step? What do we do now? <laughs> no, I imagine I you, you start. A, you start with this. And... An object. Uh, I think I have used him sometimes, but I don't know why. We were in object repetition, right? Object repeat. repeat. Yeah. Uh, radial. radial. Okay. And, and how from do the options. I? Okay. Where? Where do I go uh, now to to play with it? I think the options. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> but this is quite new, right? Ah, no, it's here. Oh my god, I love it. Wow. That's great. Thank you, Sandrine. That is. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Gracias, Sandrine. <laughs> I seem to remember actually this being announced uh, probably around the time that Illustrator for iPad came out. Um, okay, so a few years ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago, I think. Okay. So, Rocio, you need to be like more present in, yeah, a, in, a, in the community. So, because all these tricks, they, they make you save a lot of time sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So thank you again. That's perfect. And I use this tool like a lot with fruits yeah. and uh, and uh, and uh, there is a lot of uh, radial uh, repetition. Yeah. Okay. I'm guessing you could then expand that appearance if you wanted to, you know, move it and make it less. Yeah, I, I hope I I hope so. No, not with the three. It's like object. Uh, is in shape? Uh, no. And then expand. expand? Yeah. Okay, and that that's perfect. So yeah, you can just take half on a, or yeah, or play with it however you want. Nice. That's perfect. Okay, and you can I th I know I think you can also do it for this. You also have one to repeat the line, but mm -hmm. as I'm doing it like by hand, I'm not using it mm, anymore. At the beginning, I was using it like a lot, but uh, but yeah, all the tricks uh. Thank you for sharing your tricks. It's always yeah, no, great. I appreciate that. It's um, yeah, it's always that's that's why we do we this live. All, then we, we, have a... we are all learning, and we are yeah. all uh, even if we've been working like so many years, we still have a lot of a lot of things to learn. So yeah, so, yeah. But I think that's actually potentially one of the uh, one of the factors again, probably of your own success, is that you don't have the time to learn, you know, and catch up on everything. <laughs> no, um, you can. There's always always big updates. I mean, speaking of Adobe, the this last week was Adobe Max, where yeah, all of the new features, you know, announced and um, everything that's was, coming in the next versions. I imagine a lot of people are Munich. busy working. Yeah, that's why you were in Munich. Yeah, so I was, uh, oh, I was there doing a, a live stream, catching up on the latest from photography. But we had um, other um, sessions as well on illustration tools and video tools, and pretty much all the updates condensed into their own little live stream um because people are busy we can't always yeah. s sit and watch a three-hour keynote um yeah no 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 and and there are so many things going on uh not only adobe in everywhere we are over stimulated so we cannot have uh all the information with us all the time mm -hmm. so so well so so yeah uh, i think that that's why it's great to do this kind of uh, events live events so people um can learn because mm. yeah now i'm gonna use that <laughs> yeah and i'm, I'm and, gonna uh, put it on a shortcut as well <laughs> yeah definitely definitely <laughs> yeah it's funny we we have you know information overload um and that's where you learn about the world's largest pumpkin you know they just yeah <laughs> just comes to you sometimes totally okay so actually uh, from here to here the thing that has changed is the scale, the scale of the okay. elements, because here they are more or less all the same size. So you don't have like a, I will say you don't have like a like a how do you say this like a hierarchy with elements. So here it's like a bit more messy because everything is more or less the same size. The spaces between the between the illustration are not work. Um, and I always do that. For example, here, I love element touching itself, um, mm -hmm. one with others. So this is a big, a big part of the work I do when I have all the elements already uh, illustrated, is to play with the composition and to play around and to make things bigger, smaller, 
and to and to yeah and to until until I'm happy with the composition. Mm. Because it's actually do... a really interesting point about your style there is that nothing is overlapping and yet no, that delicate no. touch. I never overlap, but this is since yeah. since the beginning mostly. For example, here it's letter or, or this illustration, everything is touching but not mm -hmm. overlapping. Uh at, yeah, and keeping these small details consistency, sometimes uh in this case, um they are parallel or or they have the how do you say the 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 same uh, breath between them the same air the same quantity of space <laughs> between yep. them uh and keeping consistency with a small details like that you also build your your style and your mm. and your so yeah um so i'm not gonna do this bigger now because otherwise we, we have like four minutes left uh yeah, we just got about. I'm super small. So. I'm super slow, no or what? <laughs> no, I mean you're you're breezing through. This is um, you know, rapid. It's, I'm talking it's always a lot. so hard to it's always so hard to judge when uh when doing things live because you realize there's actually more to what you do than than what you actually do, and you want to explain yeah, it and you, share your it. Your head is in many things now, talking yeah. and uh. And... But likewise, that's that's what we all enjoy. I mean, I definitely enjoy hearing about it, and you know, it's yeah, it's nice to see sharing the happen. behind the behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. Um, oop, I don't know if I did it right. Yeah. So sometimes for this, I just want to do the mirror thing, and I have it in the shortcut O. I don't know if it's by default or I did it. I don't know if it's uh, the O, it's mirror. It's, is it like this to everyone or I, I did this uh, or cut I myself? I think you might have created that because I think O is normally for an ellipse. Okay, so I use O I for 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 this. Uh, I have changed it. I don't know why. It's I mean, there are so many things that I that I um, set up like uh, eight years ago that I, <laughs> I'm not touching them now <laughs> because otherwise uh, I get lost. And I remember when I get this new computer or I don't know what happened, you know, that sometimes uh, Illustrator, I don't know why all the shortcuts and everything were off, were disappear. I don't know what I did. It's, it probably was me. I'm not the best one with technology. And, um, and it was a nightmare because I, I was not finding everything that I have normally do. Uh, I wasn't able to find it. And it was like, oh, my God, no. Oh, uh, no. The muscle memory. This, was, this one, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, because they have the curb. Uh, as I was doing it by hand, they have like the the initiation of the curb, mm -hmm. the curva, uh, and I want them straight. So I'm just gonna redo them with the with the estilo. Yeah. Ah. Uh, It's, uh, so, that's really nice, actually, hearing uh, the pen tool having, you know, the Spanish name. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, that not not that not even Spanish. In in Spanish, uh, no? pluma is pluma. Ah. Uh, so I thought that plu that it was a silo in English. <laughs> so that was just <laughs> <See>? me. <laughs> right. So what's a, a bolígrafo? Poli that... Which one is polygraph? This one. Boli Bolígrafo is that pen a pen? tool? Ah, bolígrafo. Okay, yeah, yeah oh, bolígrafo. Well, it's um, yeah. it's not a bolígrafo. It's not a estilo. Bolígrafo. It's um, yeah. Well, this is a pluma mm -hmm. with the head uh, of the pluma. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And this is bolígrafo. Ah. Uh, so okay. for you, it's pen and pen, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, no. Sometimes it's uh, like uh, sometimes we don't know how to, how we talk. Specific. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, how much time we have left? Uh. So because... we are coming up to the hour, but we can we can run over a few minutes. I think. Okay. I think everyone is okay. is fine with this. This one. Yeah. This one. Um. Let's do a symmetrical thing. So. Oop. Just with circles. Uh, because it's too... 
A ver. Mm, something like that. Maybe another one. Mm -hmm. And I just gonna do the mirror again. I want to keep this one in the this one in the middle. So I'm gonna do I the mirror you. with the three on the bottom. Oop, I did it wrong. Okay. Yeah. And now I just do the big shape. Yep. Um yeah. So I think now I, I'm kind of a Frankenstein when I'm working because things some of the things are perfectly uh, created and other ones are uh, are um are super free so i don't know i'm i'm trying to find my place there between mm. between uh between um i think it's a, it's a good balance yeah <laughs> well i don't know if it's a good balance but uh yeah I'm, I'm happy with the results so with the results i'm getting lately so yeah so i'm just gonna keep following that instinct <laughs> yeah i think yeah if, if it feels right then it probably is yeah right. That's, yeah um um ah uh, yeah and one thing i didn't mention that i didn't do here um so in order to keep i do like a frame yes in order to keep a uh, to keep all the elements equidistant from the from the from the border. The edge. Yep. So I do offset path. This is too low. Uh fifty maybe. I oh, know, but minus uh no or ten. Okay. And then here it's smaller. So mm -hmm. Once I have all the all the illustrations done, um, I normally start uh, with the composition. Like for example, this one I know it's gonna be on the corner, so it's gonna be perfectly aligned with the with the border. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of the next step of the illustration. Yeah, I I group them and. Uh, you were not here. Yeah, let's do this again. No, no. Okay. Um, and yeah, and just play around, uh, putting everything like uh, in her in her place. Mm -hmm. Let's say, or where I want to have them. And that's in that moment when I start playing with the, yeah, with changing a little bit the composition. Is the the change is not bigger, uh, or sometimes it's not that bigger than in this one. Um, mm -hmm. The change is smaller, but yeah, putting everything in order to, to fill the gaps. For example, this one in this case, I would like to have it like aligned with the vertical. So mm -hmm. let's group it. Um, well, it's not super aligned, but it has to touch also the other one. Yep. Oh, was kind of perfect. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for example, this one now, it's annoying me because it's super big compared with the other two pumpkins. Uh, oh, this is weird. Oh, we went back. No, espera. What is this? Ah, okay. I think I could be, I was watching the line and I knew it was not like three, three, <laughs> it was not a three uh, uh, points. Yeah. So this one is, I will do it smaller. But yeah, can I go through the composition now or it's going to be, it's going to take me like a lot. Yeah. I just I realized I don't know how to talk. And, and, <laughs> and work at the same time. <laughs> well, I, th I think this has been a, a great demonstration of, yeah. you know, all of your, your skills coming together. Um, I can imagine 
rearranging and positioning things you yeah could, yeah you could yeah this was really hours. bigger for sure Tweets. i mean Tweets. well as i mentioned to you before the other day for me to do from here to here it was an hour and a half mm -hmm. so it was 100 percent focus on this and i say like oh okay 100 and a half is perfect because we are gonna have one hour for the life so yep. that's perfect i can manage you know <laughs> <laughs> but mm, no it's not that easy uh, because sometimes you are thinking about something in your head and you jump into another thing because we're mm -hmm. talking or yeah but yeah but we more have or less for impromptu for... lesson on on the radial expand you know yeah. which <laughs> although that took some time that's going to save you so much time yeah yeah as well as well but yeah it's uh, uh it's uh it's playing around and uh and uh, and keep uh, keep uh, putting all these tiny friends together. For example, when it's it's really complicated to have all the elements touching each other. Um, so, for example, when I have a small elements like this one, they touch the big one, the big ones, but they don't touch between them. They are not touching them. Okay. So, like this, the illustration is breathing like a bit. I know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They are like tiny things that I normally do it's kind of my rules and I keep them like that and I know it's gonna give consistency to the to the final result and I don't know I don't know how I do them or yeah. why um but it's something I've been doing it like this for a long time so so yeah yeah tiny trees Brilliant. but now the bottom part is starting to to yeah to to look like it should be look at the end Amazing. Uh, I I really don't want to have to cut you off. But, um, <laughs> no, no, we, no, uh... no, no. But I'm sure people would like to ask some questions, and uh, and um, and yeah, I thought it was faster. <laughs> well, I'm I'm hoping we can have you back because this has been brilliant, and you know we can go through. I would some love other, to. Yeah, sure. Uh, styles and sessions. Um, maybe maybe to work with the iPad and to and to show the iPad part. So that could be great to have. Yes, definitely. The other the other the other half of the process. Yep. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone uh, for joining. Thank you, Rothia, for showing your thank work. Thank you. Um, we have Adobe Lives every day. Um, so tomorrow, I believe, we have Tony Harmer and Medi, uh, Maddie Belwar. Um, oh, that's and great. And on Wednesday, we have uh, Russell Viers. And Friday, we've got some Halloween graphics with Liz Mosley. Um, hmm. Because it is spooky season, spooky weekend. Um, it's going to be a good one. Um, likewise, there are plenty of other live streams uh, happening um, pretty much all the time. We've got sessions running yeah. uh, and everything's good. So thank you for joining. Uh, thanks for sharing your work. Um, if you have any thank last you closing much. comments. Uh, and thanks any... for the tricks you were sharing. Yes. People people connected over there. It was great <laughs> to have your, yes. to your tricks. Yeah. Likewise, uh, appreciate on the tricks as well. I'm going to use those myself um, in some other things. Uh, so that's everything from us today. Um, thanks for joining and we'll see you real soon. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye -bye.